pass the cranberry sauce Zico, for having mashed potatoes. It's the best coconut water that you can buy. <laughs> what? Hello and welcome to the Green Family Kitchen. So I'm here in Portland. Um, I'm here for the whole week for Thanksgiving. I'm here with Mama and we are cooking. So Mom and I, we are both gluten and dairy free. So our Thanksgiving is we do a gluten free and dairy free Thanksgiving. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys a couple of the things that we do. So we never skip out on anything. Like we still have pumpkin pie. We still have mashed potatoes and gravy and um, cobbler and stuffing and all of those dishes that are traditional Thanksgiving dishes, but we do it in a version that is gluten-free and dairy-free. So I thought it'd be interesting because some of the people who watch these videos are interested in like fitness lifestyle stuff. So I thought it'd be really interesting to show you guys how we do that. Also, welcome to Portland. Let me show you outside my house. It is super dreary and gray, but there are trees and pumpkins. This is my deck. So, very northwesty, but here, let's show what are we making today in the Green Family Kitchen. Okay, so this is the pumpkin part. So, um, this is the dairy-free pumpkin mix that we put together. Let's see. Then this is just organic pumpkin, because mm -hmm. we do everything organic too. So we got some organic pumpkin. All that contains is certified organic pumpkin <laughs> and uh, then we've got some pumpkin pie spice and you mix that in here and then this stuff I just tried this and it was like heaven on earth it is sweetened condensed coconut milk that is dairy and soy free also vegan I tried it before it looks kind of like bacon grease but don't be fooled because it actually tastes like caramel wow that is so good okay so if you have not tried sweetened condensed coconut milk. It probably tastes exactly the same as sweetened condensed milk, but it really just tastes like melted caramels. And then we got two gluten-free pie shells. Now these, let's see, would you, do these have egg in them? I don't think so. Nope. Okay, yeah, because some of the stuff we use has egg, but this doesn't have egg, so that is also vegan. So gluten-free pie shells that we got at New Seasons, which is kind of like a Oregon version of Whole Foods. And then we also add vanilla extract, pure vanilla from Madagascar. Oh, this is also vanilla extract in case you need to. And can opener and tools. And so do you essentially just blend it all together? Uh, yeah, so you mix the pumpkin, the spice, the condensed coconut milk, a little bit of salt, a little bit of vanilla, and uh, some beaten eggs together. So if you are vegan, you could probably could still make this. You just have to use either an egg substitute or applesauce. I know there's a lot of Cornstarch is another. Cornstarch, so cornstarch, applesauce, um, egg substitute, which is oftentimes a tapioca starch blend. So you could totally make this vegan, but we just, because we eat eggs from time to time, we just decided to make it easier. So there is a way to make it vegan though. So if that's what Tons you're interested in. Tons of recipes online. Tons, but that's just how we do it. The crust, um, so I am pre-baking them a little bit. Um, it makes them- Ooh, it's warm in here. You poke holes in them and you put the foil around the edges so the edges don't burn and you bake them for about 10 minutes and that makes them just a little bit flakier so they don't get all soggy. And then you just, you pour in the mixture? Then you pull them out, pour in the mixture, and then put them back in the oven to bake. Pretty much my mom is the one doing this. I'm just here filming and attempting to be helpful. I think tomorrow we're gonna do stuffing, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes today or on today, but yes. Or mashed potatoes today, but dairy free. Because dairy -free. Um, most people make potatoes, mashed potatoes with butter and, <coughs> pardon me, with butter and um, regular milk, but we do it with a coconut milk and dairy-free margarine. This so, right here, by the way. Yeah. This is great stuff. This, this is what we use. It's also soy-free if you have a soy problem. Um, so yeah, very excited to show you guys some of our recipes. So we're back with Mama Green. It's later. It's like uh, 5.12. Um, we have taken them out of the oven and they look great. Um, she has this trick where if you put tin foil over the edge of the crust, then the crusts don't burn. They just get nice and crispy. So instead of leaving them in their state, we're going to sample them to make sure that they are good and edible. Messy. Sorry. Oh. Ah, I didn't get the crust. Well, get here. Eat there it quick. goes. Eat it quick. I really like it. It's like, it's sweet, but it's not sickly sweet. Like because it's a little less sweet, that would be so good with the really sweet whipped cream on it. Mm. Uh. That was tin foil. And remember, this is gluten free and dairy free, so good if you're lactose intolerant, or if you want to make the vegan version, 
Asian to do. Mm -mm, good. Mom and I have moved on to the mashed potatoes. So currently what we did first is, you know, you peel them and you boil them as standard potatoes. So then you strain them and they're currently in the strainer right now. So there they are in their mushy glory. While that is foggy, that just fogged up the lens of the camera. Whoops. So then next what we're gonna do is you put all the potatoes into a large mixing bowl, which we have right here, and you blend them using dairy-free margarine, which I showed you earlier. This is the dairy-free margarine. It is Earth Balance brand. It is soy-free also. It's pretty much just vegetable oil, so it's not like the most healthy thing that you should eat. Oh. It's not like the most healthy thing you should eat all the time, but it is, it's for, you know, every now and then it's fine. And then we also mix it with um, coconut milk, and you can use rice any- milk. I use rice milk. Okay, I lied. We use rice milk. When I've made it in the past, I've used coconut milk, but this is organic rice milk. Um, the classic kind, don't not like flavored or anything. It's but also a blander flavor, so that the potato flavor comes through more, which is why I choose that over coconut milk. That makes sense. So, but you can use any kind of non-dairy milk to substitute for regular milk, and then using non-dairy margarine, and they are just as thick. Oh, and you also put garlic in these, right? Yes. So my mom, she uh, peeled and cut up a garlic, and then. Um, boiled that with the potatoes and then you, when you mash it all together because then it has more of like a garlicky mashed potato flavor which is more delicious. Um, for dinner, I made myself a pizza. I made a gluten-free, dairy-free pizza using a cauliflower crust with um, Daya dairy-free cheese and then I just kind of put my own toppings on it. It turned out really well, so I'm very happy with that. So we are gonna blend the potatoes. Yeah, this mixer my mom got at a garage sale in 1995, and it's still kicking. So we finished the potatoes, and I tried them, and I tried them, and then I tried them again, and again, and again. They were really good. They're really creamy, and rich, and fluffy, and they taste like garlicky, creamy mashed potatoes, but there's no dairy. So uh, here's to potatoes. Mm. Hello and happy Thanksgiving. It is Thursday, November 23rd. 23rd. November 23rd and it is Thanksgiving Day. And we are making stuffing in the morning. Getting stuffed in a stuffing for Thanksgiving. Okay, I'm annoying. I'm gonna stop. We made two different kinds of stuffing because my brother and my dad aren't really gluten free and my mom and I are, so we're making two kinds, so we're not subjecting the rest of our family to our gluten-free torture. So, this is what we are making. This is um, a Portland brand from a Portland bakery called New Cascadia Seasoned Stuffing Mix, and this is gluten-free. So, we've got our chopped celery here. I just switched over to my iPhone because my camera died and I left my battery charger in California. So, we're putting celery in here along with, um, that's the regular stuffing and this is the gluten-free. Um, and so, we are going to put celery and onions and chicken broth and we're going to bake it in the turkey and mix it all together. Well, we're not mixing these two things together. We'll probably put one of them in the turkey and the other one elsewhere. So that is the saga of our stuffing and now we already made the potatoes and the cranberries yesterday as well as the pumpkin pies which I showed you and so today we're doing turkey with my dad and gravy and my mom's green bean dish thing and then oh and then I'm also going to show you guys our coconut milk whipped cream anti-dairy no dairy topping which is like our little family tradition favorite recipe. So I will be sure to show you guys that because that is our favorite, but I hope you're all having a very happy Thanksgiving with your families, your friends, your pets, your whoever you celebrate with. Just have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for all of you. Just have a wonderful day and I hope it is special and full of delicious food. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. So we've got our organic coconut milk here, which is canned. Um, it just comes in a can, we get several cans of that, and the first step you gotta do is you refrigerate it overnight. So what happens then is the coconut milk separates from the cream, or the thick, goopy part, and then what happens is you take it out the next day, you cut both ends off the cans, and then you dump out the liquid. What's left is this hard stuff, which looks like this. It kinda just looks like ice cream, kind of, but it's really, really thick, and then, you have powdered sugar and vanilla extract 
and my mom's garage sale beater from 1995. Preferably use a better one, but this works for now. <laughs> It is cold and sugary. I added about another half cup of sugar, a little more vanilla. Let's see if there's another big bowl there. What big bowls are there? What bowls are there? I know. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what dreams are made of. Hello and welcome to my first video taken on this brand new camera. Okay, so if you can't tell, I'm really excited because I decided to bite the bullet, do the Black Friday purchase, spend the money, and get myself a brand new vlog camera. I got myself the Canon SX, no, Canon, yeah, Canon SX 730HS vlog camera. It has like a flip screen, which my other one didn't have, so I can see myself, which is the main reason I wanted to get it, because I kept getting so frustrated that my footage kept being out of focus and I couldn't tell, because I would go and see that it was out of focus when I would go back and review it later and I couldn't go and redo it. So anyway, it is like 1 in the morning on Thursday Thanksgiving. I had a wonderful Thanksgiving with my parents and my older brother and we had a great time. We had so many delicious foods and I ate everything completely dairy and gluten free which was amazing. And then we watched some Family Feud together and my brother and I went to Black Friday or we, my brother and I went to Best Buy Black Friday shopping. I got this new camera and he got a new Xbox and some Xbox games. The new Xbox One S thing. I don't know. He got that for himself and I got myself this camera and a new SD card and I am so so excited about it. and. It's going to be put to really good use tomorrow because Christy is coming from Portland. So Christy Vetter, my best friend, the one who got me into YouTube in the first place, she lives in Cannon Beach, Oregon, and she's home on Thanksgiving break from grad school right now. So tomorrow, Christy and I are going Black Friday shopping together in Portland, and I am so, so excited to see her, to go shopping, and we're going to be filming a haul video together, one for her channel and one for my channel. So get ready for that. That's going to be so exciting. So if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and click subscribe down below so you can stay notified on that video coming up. Click the little bell so you can watch all my notifications for my videos. So yeah, I am so excited to share that with you guys and so excited to see you. So excited to go shopping and I'm so excited about this camera. Can you tell that I am excited about a lot of things? Oh, it's out of focus, but see, I could see that this time. And so now I can wait for it to go back into focus. Oh, it's amazing. Well, that is all for now. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and check out my social media. If you want to follow around what Christy and I are doing tomorrow, check out my Instagram, Sierra Michelle Green, for my live Insta story. And also, Sierra Green is my Snapchat if you want to check that out too to see me and Christy. So, yeah, look forward to sharing that with you guys. And thanks so much for watching my Thanksgiving vlog. And I will see you next time. Woohoo! Here is to clear camera footage from here on out. Get pumped, folks. The whole world's thanking us. Thank. Dad!